Little Dog Lost, the true story of a brave dog named Baltic by Monica Carnese. On a very cold day, during a very cold winter, sheets of ice float on the Whistler River and out toward the Baltic Sea. Something is moving in the water. What is it? Is it a bird? No. A fish? No. It's a dog. A little dog is adrift on the ice. Can anybody help? Please help dog. The firemen come to help. They go into the river, trying to reach dog. But the river flows too fast. The little dog floats away with the current, past the people and past the buildings. Dog leaves everyone behind. Night comes and goes. Dog's thick fur keeps him warm. But Dog is wet and tired and hungry. And he is scared. Don't be scared, Dog. <gasps> A ship is coming. The crew sees something on the ice. Is it a seal? No. It has four legs, ears, and a tail. It's a dog. Let's help him. The crew pulls out a big net on a pole. Jump in, dog. But dog slips. He falls into the water. Oh no, where is dog? There he is. Dog climbs back onto the ice. The crew lowers a small boat into the icy water. A seaman climbs in and paddles toward Dog. He gets closer and closer and then he saves Dog. Quick, get towels. Quick, get blankets. The whole crew helps Dog. Is Dog okay? Ah, oh, Dog is so weak and so tired. He can barely move. Finally, Dog is warm. Finally, Dog is dry. He eats and falls asleep, safe at last aboard the ship. When Dog wakes up, he looks for the people who saved him. They are eating breakfast. Everyone is happy to see Dog awake. They give Dog a sausage. Dog finds the man who pulled him out of the water. Dog puts his nose on his lap. That's how he says thank you. You're welcome, Dog. You're welcome, Baltic. That's it. That's what we'll call you. And that's how a brave little dog got his name and his new home. Join the crew, Baltic. <laughs>